let's go ahead and begin with adding an estimate. Uh, the next step would be to fill in your company header info. Now you only have to really do this once and then you can set it as a default. I'm going to go ahead and fill this in and show you how that works. And then we can choose an image for our company header. and it's going to shrink that image down automatically. You want to use a JPEG image. And then we're going to go ahead and save that header. And then we're going to choose it from the list. If there's any information, uh, insurance related information, it goes here. Uh, here's your sales tax. Uh, here's general contractors overhead and profit. Let's go ahead and put 10%. And let's save changes. Now we're going to go ahead and add a room. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how quick this can be. You can add rooms just by typing them in, such as um, bedroom one. Then you know you can dimension them by 10 foot by 15, comma four is 15.33. Default height of eight. Here is some openings. Um, Let's go ahead and click on two two-foot doors and a three-foot by six-foot window. Oh, let's go ahead and put two of them in there. And then a six by ten missing wall. Um, but there's an all, let's say there's an offset in here as well. Let's put uh, 12 foot. And I'm going to show you how to do this really quickly now. Here's choose rooms from a list. Uh, right here, I've got most of the rooms that you'll ever need. Uh, let's say shed, debris removal, general, hallway, master bedroom. And you can just click a button. It adds all those rooms, and then you can quickly dimension them. And let's go ahead and add a roof as well. And then all you do is click this button and it drops all those rooms into the estimate. Uh, what the green color means is that the rooms are dimensioned and what the red means is that they do not have any measurements. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we compile the estimate now. Once uh, we have a dimensioned room, uh, we can either choose items from a database. We have all of these different sections here from uh, you know, acoustic items to cabinetry, drywall, you name it. Um, let's go ahead and look at something like, oh, I don't know, um, roofing. And here are all the items and the prices that we have in the roofing category. Uh, so let's, uh, there's, there's a lot of items here, so it's going to be difficult to, you know, find anything really. So what, what I've done is I've, I've gone ahead and put some search capability. So you come over here to the far left, and let's say that you're, uh, you're going to look for, a, I don't know, a 30-year roof. So just type in 3.0, hit search. And it's going to hit. It's going to pull up pretty much everything with a 30 in it. So there's replace asphalt shingles, 30 year. Here's replace roofing felt, 30 pound, etc. So let's go ahead and choose the asphalt shingles, and uh, let's say that there's a 15 pound felt. We also need to remove shingles as well. So. Go ahead and just drop that in. You can see how it drops it in in red. And when it's red, that means that there's no quantity that's been selected yet. You double click on that, put a quantity in there of, say, I don't know, 25 squares. And there you have it. It shows your, your total uh, material, your labor, material and labor. 
Uh, let's go ahead and go back in there. Roofing. And let's find the remove shingles. And that would be right here. Now, if you press uh, your control key, you can choose more than one item. I'm doing this the slow way right now so that you can just see how it's done. I'm going to show you how to do it really fast here in a few minutes. So there, we've got the remove shingles selected. And let's go ahead and find some other items that we're going to need for this roof. Uh, there's replace roofing felt. Um, let's see. Remo remove drip edge. Replace drip edge. Replace step flashing. There's some a turbine. We're going to need that. And let's go ahead and drop those items into the estimate. Now, we can reorder these really easily. Uh, there's your replace shingles. We're going to need to just take that and just push it up there. And then we double click on it. We're going to add 25 in there for the 25 squares. Uh, same thing here. We can put this one right there in the middle. We're going to double click it. 25 squares. Drip edge. Let's say there's 260 linear feet. Remove drip edge. We want to move it up. And like I said, guys, I'm doing this very slowly right now so that you can see the process. But uh, using the macros is where uh, you're going to really, really, really speed this up. Uh, it's going to be almost instant estimates. Uh, let's go ahead and add, I don't know, 30 feet of step flashing and three turbines. Okay, now what you just saw, you know, took a couple of minutes. Uh, it's a fairly detailed estimate. Uh, but what, what I want to show you is the use of macros. Uh, let me go ahead and go into a bedroom that's been dimensioned. Actually, this is the bedroom. Let me show you how to move this stuff out. I put these items in the wrong room. This, this, these belonged in the roof. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight them all. I'm going to right click. Okay, I'm going to copy the everything. And then it's asking me where I want to copy it to. I'm going to put select the roof, press OK. And it's going to have moved everything into the roof. So now I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to hit Control A, right click, and press Delete. And it's all gone and it's back over here. And so I want to show you the macro section. Uh, this isn't where we actually access the macros to use them, but this is where we're going to, uh, to look at them. Uh, let's go ahead. This right here is a macro I created for a painted room. It's got baseboard, carpet and pad, ceiling, chair rail, crown molding, uh, you name it. Uh, now the way we're going to access that macro is by pressing the F1 key from any room in here. Let's go ahead and press F1 and there's the macro. All I have to do is just come over here and start pressing things. Um, right, they'll, they'll go in in the order that I put them in. And so uh, if I didn't want baseboard to go first, if I wanted carpet and pad to go first, I just press that. And then of course the next item would probably be baseboard. And then um, let's see, let's do some walls. And the ceiling. chair rail, crown molding, and mask and prep. And just press OK. And it's going to drop all those items. You see how fast that was? It's incredibly fast. Okay, and so then most of these items uh, aren't going to need any any help at all. You see they have an F right here. Instead of, uh, uh, the F means floor, okay? And so we already know how big the room is because we dimensioned it. 
Okay, so it's going to it's going to automatically know the square footage of the floor. Uh, the only thing it's going to really need some input on is this insulation because not every wall is insulated. So I could put a W in there for walls just like I did, say, for the drywall. It knows it's 724 square feet. But the problem, of course, is that, you know, not every wall is going to be insulated. So it's hard to it's hard to guess on that. And that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, you're going to have uh, possibly to manipulate a few more figures, but um, probably not. And that's almost all the time I have right now. I'm limited to uh, 15 minutes for YouTube-style videos, and so uh, we're going to have to hurry here. I'm going to press File. I'm going to press Print. And I'm going to show you what this is going to look like. Okay, there's your company header. There's your customer's information, the sales tax rate. Here's the bedroom one with the dimensions. Here's all of your, your door, the doors being taken out, the windows, the missing walls. Uh, there's all that information we just entered on that macro so fast. I mean, that, that, that is the true speed of this program is to use those macros. It just takes a few minutes to set them up. And I, I didn't show you actually how to set up a macro, but it's real easy. Uh, I just don't have the time in this video to show you. So there's our roof. And here's the bottom of the estimate here with the totals, sales tax, overhead and profit. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, I hope you guys will download a copy of iScope and give it a shot. Uh, be really grateful if you did send a donation because I do give away iScope for free the only people you have to pay uh, is if you want the if you want the database you have to pay craftsman after a 30-day trial the program will stop working unless you pay craftsman their forty dollars so uh, go ahead and go to the claimsoftware.org if you'd like to watch some more videos I've done like 15 uh, very thorough videos that are going to show you exactly how to use iScope. This video is more uh, intended just to give you an overview of what it does. So I, I really do hope that you uh, download it and thank you very much for your time.